right, day 122. The next morning. So, yesterday. Out the door, got to go finally get, got going out the door around like 10, 30. Yeah, so yesterday, just same old story. Didn't get going. I got out the door and then not around all day, doing fun, doing all that stuff. And then uh, got done, and then I was going to go climb. But then there was a group of people playing volleyball, so I ended up. Making that work. I want to play volleyball. And, um, had a good time. Stayed steady playing the whole time from about 5 about 6 30 until about um, 10. I left at 10 when I left. But, um, so I'm just trying to make sure I know where I'm going. It's probably not the best time to do this video, but I know if I put it off, less chance of Yeah, and then got a home late. Got a uh, Taco Bell again on the way home. And, uh, and then put on after Earth. What tip of that? Joel got tired and just turned it off on the bed. And uh, so this morning, I've been thinking there was something weird about when Zoe, like right towards the end there, it was just like she was shutting down, like something was going on, right? And I've been wanting to Google, like, what are the symptoms of kidney failure? Now, let me just, a little side note, the medication that the vet prescribed Zoe for pain and for her arthritis had a potential for kidney failure. Well, I don't want to give that to her. But the way they did everything, and then, like, they kind of... I thought they were going to write the prescription, but they, I went to go check out, and it's like, oh, it's 60, okay, this is the price, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, oh, okay. So I just paid for it. I already, I already have it. But then I didn't use it for a while, because I'm like, I, don't, I really don't want to give this to her, right? And then days go by, days go by, maybe like a month, and I'm like feeling kind of guilty because I have this stuff it's like for pain medication for Zoe like, let's try it out I mean I have it if it's, if it's gonna help her not be in pain I should be giving it to her right so it says modern medicine so I started giving that to her uh, in the morning and the evening Real funny. All of a sudden, she started really taking a turn. Um, so this morning, I looked up symptoms of kidney failure, and literally, bullet point for bullet point, it was like exactly what was going on. I was in lethargic, loss of appetite, breath smells like chemicals, which is a very noticeable thing. Where I was like, her breath is like, that's not just bad breath. Something like, something going on. Um, drinking uh, excessive or a minimal amount of water. I mean, just like everything that was going on with it was like boom, 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 boom. So, I'm not a veterinarian. I'm not a doctor. But from basic logic and reasoning from reading that, uh, it'd be safe to say that those fucking pills that I started giving her caused her to have kidney failure would shut her down. And I'm so <laughs> fucking mad about that. It's not even it's not even funny. Because that was my biggest fear. And I've always 
stayed away from the doctor and all that stuff because not like the doctors are bad in general, but the whole fucking medication game, man. Like, it's just... Mm. One of the words that are, that are best suited for what I'm trying to say. But... really frustrating to think and I'm not being extreme by saying this but basically I poisoned my dog to the point where the kidney failed and then she just shut down and was feeling miserable for about a week and then I killed her which did end her suffering at that point which I had caused by giving her the damn medication in the first place but it just goes to show you, man, it's like, there's so much trust placed in doctors, prescribed pills, medication, to just fix things. And I just, I'm not gonna say I wish I was, I would have known, I didn't know. But, Maybe going forward, I can trust my instincts a little better. Shit, it would have been so easy. Let's just try to start doing that extend or some homeopathic, some natural medicine to help her deal with her arthritis. Because that is something that's going to always stick with me now, unfortunately. And I could say, yo, the vet prescribed it to me, but I didn't have to give it to her. I mean, even though I even paid for it, I still didn't have to give it to her, I could just been like, you know what, there's a chance of kidney failure, let's look what that looks like, no, I don't want to do that to her, but anyway, fuck the medication, man, like, god, that sucks, but, oh well, it's gone now, and, Still trying to wrap my head around it. Going to bed, she's not around, it's weird. Wake it up, she's not around, it's weird. 